Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this, Jesse Lee Peterson is a savage number three. Please make sure to consider hitting that like, hitting the share, hitting the subscribe, smash the notification. It really helps out with the channel to go as big as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. The uh, future of the Democratic Party is not looking good. Not at all. Not looking good at all. And that is good for America. It is not a negative. It is a positive. Talk to you about the great white hope first, the president. Uh, how would you rate him? You know, he's been elected a year now. And how would you rate the president on a scale of one to 10, 10 being best? And I would say probably a zero. Really? And why is that? Well, I, I judge him by his own campaign um, uh, promises. The Jim but like, what what promises did he break? That's what I would like to ask David Pakman. What did he break? He pretty much stuck true to his word. He did what he did with for the border. The economy was great. Jobs were coming back to the uh, to America. There's just so much. Unemployment was at all time low. Everything. I just don't know what this guy's talking about. Uh, hold on, Jesse. Wait a second. What's the What was you tell me what he's done? What? How would you rate him? Well, we have a uh, conservative Supreme Court justice. That's another uh, thing. U.S. Supreme Court right now. We have the jobs are coming back. Uh, what few, jobs? Few, oh, talk to me about the jobs, Jesse. Few, few, how has the job on, creation David, rate down. changed calm from down, President David. Obama? Give David. me the numbers. We've got a record 95.3 million people out of the workforce. Calm record. Calm down, Historical David. high. David, you must calm down. Uh, the filing of unemployment have gone down. The um, uh, illegal, illegal um, uh, aliens coming across the borders, illegal aliens yep. coming across the borders. Are down. It was way down under Trump. Plus, you know, he made it so much easier for small businesses to to start going. It, it's it's ridiculous what this guy thinks. You can tell by how triggered he is. Now, he has managed to put a hold on uh, radical Islamic terrorists. Uh, countries where they are coming f into our country. It's a the lot of but, but I don't want to travel. I, I know been blocked paying for those show. procedures and not paying for Dave. what it would cost to find and discharge all hey, those David, transgender David, military members. David, you're not here to communicate. I really appreciate you coming on. I'm going to let you go. It's a waste of time to talk to you. We're not communicating. Mm -hmm. You're acting like an no, idiot. because you're asking bizarre questions. You're and acting not like an you. idiot, and you're wasting my time. I appreciate you hominem. coming. All right, thank it's you for coming. So you Goodbye. Goodbye. Let him go. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. I got banned from Econos because of my support. It's funny, bro. Like, Liberals are very hard to have conversations with because they just want to talk in circles. You ask them where they're going, they'll tell you where they've been. Port of uh, the Great White Hope, President Trump. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> you sure it wasn't something else too? No. What, 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 <laughs> <laughs> they heard me doing an interview. I was doing an interview on the radio uh -oh. with my friend Bill Cunningham from Ohio. And mm -hmm. the guy um, just went insane. They said he was a uh, uh, radical homosexual. And he, and he got all upset, and one thing led to another one. And so they banned me from the gym. And we were looking at the best way to deal with this right now. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Liberals can't handle the truth. That's so true. They really can't. It's hard for them to, to accept facts and reality. Like, you know, the whole two genders thing, uh, all kinds of things, you know, like how men shouldn't be in women's sports. It's kind of more of a common sense thing, and they lack it. <laughs> and so are you a man? Uh, I hope to God I am, yeah. You're not sure? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think that other people get to judge. <laughs> I read that you were raised Muslim, but you, uh, you're now an atheist or an agnostic. Is that true? Yes. Uh, I was born into a Muslim family, uh, but we were pretty secular. So, you know, we barely practiced to begin with. And now I'm agnostic. Yep. Serve one God, either the God of good or the God of evil, because human beings are not in control of their own lives. You're influenced by either good or evil. I think people don't understand that, that, that when you say you don't believe in God, because I used to be like one of the people who like wasn't sure. And now, you know, I, I'm, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. But 
that's the devil tricking you to make you think that there's not a god. That's what people don't that's what people fail to realize. No, I do not believe that at all. I don't believe a, uh, any part of that statement. No. Really? And so where do you get your values from? Uh, you get it from uh, culture. And so culture is multifaceted. Your parents are a huge, huge part of it. Uh, the context that you grew up, the environment, and the media is a big part of it, uh, for better or for worse. And you put all that together, and those are the influences that affect your decision. Um, it says he's God. He knows everything. If you notice, uh, people, human beings who, not, who that don't believe in God, they lack common sense. We just yeah. went through eight years of hell with Barack Obama because he he doesn't believe in God either. And so we went mm -hmm. through straight eight years of hell. You've been listening, but there is no. It's so true. It was just so bad. It was so bad under Obama. Such thing as I voted for him the first time, and he's literally the reason I'll never vote Democrat again. It's racism. The word racism is a made up lie. And it's made up by the children of the lie, the Democratic Party, the liberal media, the black liberal Democrats, um, the uh, black preachers, the right old Republicans. And they made up that word in order to divide and conquer. It's, it's either right or wrong, good or evil. It has nothing to do with being male or female or nothing to do with color. And what is cooning, what is cooning for the white man? Cooning for the white man means like sticking up for them when, uh, when uh, they're the ones who had oppressed your, your folks. This kid's a little dork. Uh, your, uh, I know, I know you uh, you grew up on a plantation. So uh, most black people look to leaders to tell them how to vote, how to think, whether work or not. They say that the white man hate them. And so, um, is it retarded or is it retardation when you look to another human being to lead you in the way you should think, act, and be? Is that retarded? Retardation? I mean, cannot lead their lives. So let me know down in the chat. Do you guys think that that's, that's retardation? You know? Let me know. Well, I believe that the average, uh, I believe that the, the, African Americans uh, of, the, of today uh, had, could use some encouragement from upstanding people like Dr. Martin Luther King, or even you know, you know, people. You're not that answering nature. my question. Why is it that you, as a white man, can lead your own life, but you don't believe that blacks are capable of leading their own life? They need leaders. The blacks. This is what's wrong with liberals, for real. This is what's wrong with them. The white people. Immigrants hate white people. Muslims hate white people. So then you turn around and see the same fire that you claim you're trying to put out. What is, where's the contradiction? I don't see it. Despise white people because they've been doing so much damage and crooked stuff mm -hmm. and destruction forever. Oh, just white people? Okay. That's why people have a problem with them. And that's why you and have it, a problem with white that. people? Say what? That's why you have a problem with white people? I deal with people the way they deal with me. Do you have a problem with white on, people? Oh yeah, I do have a problem with white people what because have, they have been what that have way they, for a very long time. What have they? What have they done to you? What have you done to me lately? Ooh, oh yeah. 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 What I've have they done to you? Arrested uh, 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 without being uh, uh, falsely accused of stuff I had. What done have they done to you? White people issues. didn't do that to you. First of all, I don't believe it. But white, uh, yeah, people, white did, people did it. So no, white people enough. did not do that to you. You're lying. So why is it that when, so, when say, a cop does something to you, it's automatically the white people that do it? You know, you he could not be telling the truth on why he got pulled over. He could be making it up, and in his mind, he's right. You know, even though it's a lie, in his mind, he could be right. Yeah, white people did do that. No, they didn't. But, hey, just because you are Sambo and believe everything <laughs> that white people do, that's, that's what you do. But Don't you're lying. White, white people life. didn't do that to you. Yeah, well, they did it. But anyway, back to no, what I was saying. No, they didn't. Telling no one can make you, you angry. You feel the same fire that you Quentin, tell people not to no have. one can make you angry, Quentin. That's very true, you know.
as I've gotten older, I've noticed that the anger's inside of us. <clears throat> People just bring it out of you. And if you have perfect peace, they can't bring any anger out of you because there is no anger. There's nothing but love. It's contradictory. You, no, you, you ain't show me no contradiction. Name. You ain't show me okay. one contradiction. But you feel the fire listen, of Quentin, the same fire you came to put out. Quentin, listen. Well, put it this way. Quentin. I want you to get your country back. I, I want you to have your country back, like you said. You want your country back. And I want to go back to those days. We want our country back. The good old days. When they see you hanging from a tree, <laughs> and I want to bring the beer, and me I want from... to be the one to kick the chair. That's what I want to do. That's what, what I want to do. Evil. What I want to do. I want you to Seriously, do. that is evil. I don't care what anybody says. That is evil. Country back. That's what I want. You're evil. And I want to be there, like I said, to bring the Budweiser and kick the chair when they do. That goes for Joel and that other boyfriend, the two other boyfriends you got. This is well, you suck boy ass nigga. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. He black. He black. First of all, no one can make you angry, folks. They only bring it out what's already there. Yeah, I, I, literally, it is so true, and I've noticed it. Do you guys believe that? Let me know in the chat. And I'm trying to stop the fire by telling. Black people and all people, but especially black people, that you are, your anger is what's getting you in trouble, making you do crazy things. And white people didn't do that. Your mama did that. Your daddy. Exactly. Anger, anger is from within. It's, it's from your surroundings, you know. It's from not, you know, from not believing in God. God will take that anger away from you. I really love his viewpoints. I love how he keeps his composure and just handles things. And it's like a breath of fresh air to listen to him speak. But everybody, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me. Again, if you haven't yet, please make sure to hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, smash the notification. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.